have Leonard by the tree, and we have Corona over there by the sewer hose. Okay, so we are in the cab part of our Super C, driver's seat, over there. You'll see all the cool controls. We don't have too many. Probably it's like not. a normal truck, basically. Um, this cool device is a camera, so it will show the back backup camera, side cameras, when you have the blinkers on. I really like it horse passenger seat over here. Um, we got these really cool sunshades. Got them like into Walmart. Helps block out the sun, plus gives us privacy as well. On the side windows, we did a little makeshift to fit the windows. We just did a normal car windshield visor and cut it in half and molded it to the windows. And yeah, it's basically the cab part basically like a big truck. Okay, so above the cab area that we were just in, we have these cool cabinets. With tons of storage. Um, we yanked out the big box TV that came in the front and we put a cool cat bed and the cats love it up there. More storage, DVD player, radio, all the good stuff while you're camping. Come on, Come on. Cats do not cooperate. Okay, down to this side we have a cool fancy TV that when we're in um, travel we can just slide it back and button it up and it's fine for en route. Um, if you take a look behind this chair, we have a cool inverter. Okay. Coming around, you have a very comfy, fancy swivel chair. It actually swivels. Come on over to the kitchen. More storage. And if we go back just a little bit, there's a lot more storage behind the TV and more storage in those glass cabinets. Okay, up here we have a microwave with a convection oven. Today was the first day we tried cooking something in the convection oven. Um, took us a little while to actually get it working, but it works. Um, we have a three burner stove top. sink. We have a cool little storage compartment underneath the oven. We have a normal sized fridge for a camper basically. Pantry. More storage at the bottom there. If you make your way around. Um, dinette, which will actually um, fold down for sleeping arrangements for a little person. And then on the couch, that actually folds out into a bed. Three. Alright, this is how you easily make the couch into a bed. Remove two cushions. And just pull out the couch. Don't call it the bed. <laughs> Pull out the couch. And there is your twin size bed. And as a safety precaution, do not sit up there as a lounging space because it'll flip up. <laughs> Easy as that for guests. The fold in process is just as easy. <laughs> So now 
now walking down the hallway, you will get to our nice command center. Um, we do have dual AC units, so this is to the main living room. Um, our generator, the start and stop switch, all of our tank levels, water pump, water heater, um, the slide room, in and out buttons all get controlled from this little panel. Continuing down, if you look to your right, shower. Very uh, spacious. Just a normal RV shower. And to the left, if I open up this door, you guys could take a peek into the bathroom. Once again, there's a lot of storage. This coach has storage everywhere. Alright, so continuing down, you get to the bedroom. Nice king-sized bed. Very spacious. Um, if you look over here, there is a huge closet. We have six roomy drawers. And two cats just lazing about. <laughs> Leonard and Corona. Say hi to you two. Okay, now if you keep going over, um, there's more cabinets. In this big empty space, there was another big box TV that we didn't yank out. This is with the bedroom slide closed. You're not able to access the drawers, but you still have full access to the closets. Well, you just saw the bedroom with the slide in. Now this is the living room with this slide in. As you can see, there's still plenty of room to walk around and I don't have to turn sideways to walk down the, the aisle here, right up into the cab area. All right, there we go. Say hi, Corona. Good job. Thank you for joining us for our inside walkthrough of our Super C. Please hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and share any comments that you have. We try to get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you guys have a great one.